What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Talk the Prospect, presented to you by Forth and John. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and with me tonight is a very special guest, University of South Alabama wide receiver, Kawan Baker. Kawan, thank you for joining us tonight. How are you doing tonight, man? Oh, man, it's a beautiful night, man. It's, it's great to be here. Glad y'all having me. Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, you know, we're doing this with all the players, you know, we're, we're keeping our eye out, dude. And, uh, you know, you are somebody that I'm telling you, you know, you might you want the Sun Belt Conference. You know, people have their opinions about smaller conferences, this or that. I don't care, man. If I, I see talent, I want to talk about it. So I, I really appreciate having you on. and I can't wait to get into this. Um, so before we get into any questions, though, man, I was doing a little bit of digging on you and uh I saw that you and your brother, uh, before you went to South Alabama, you were driving all over the place, making videos, doing everything you possibly could to get into the school. Uh, you seem like a pretty dedicated man. Uh, I wanted to take this time to maybe let you tell a little bit about that story and uh, a little bit about yourself. <laughs> you said I was I was I was riding around with my brother, man. Huh. <laughs> I mean, that's nothing. That's nothing. Uh... That's nothing out of the ordinary. It's, it's, it's pretty much on a daily basis how I'm, how I'm with him, man. And just a crazy process how I got got to South, really, you know, because um, I was committed to East Tennessee State, and and before that, you know, I was I was getting some looks for from like some Syracuse and Miami or whatever. But my, you know, my SAT scores and everything it wasn't there. So then after that, you know, I committed, and then I later found out I had South Alabama, and then. Once I knew that, I was like, you know, it's no question. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to South. You know, what I'm saying more exposure. Exactly. You know, what would you tell an NFL GM, Kwan, to convince them to draft or sign you after the draft? What have you been doing to prepare for this draft, and what do you bring to the table that makes you stand out from the crowd? So I'll probably tell you know a GM going into the league that. You know, everybody in the league, we all know everybody in the league has talent, you know, extreme talent. That's why they're there. But, you know, I'm coming. I need uh, I'm coming with a sense of, uh, of discipline that I've always had throughout my life. And that's what's going to, you know, what I'm saying win games is the discipline of your teams, no matter you know, what I'm saying how much talent the other side of the ball have or as much as you have. I, I, I'm, I'm going to come with the discipline to always do the right thing, you know, what I'm saying be in the right place at the right time. So, you know, that's just that's how I'm coming. And make sure everybody else around me knows knows what they're doing too. Well, that's good, man. You got to stay disciplined, and you know you got to let other people around you know what you're all about. You can't let other people control you. So that's great stuff to hear off the bat. Uh, you talk about you know everybody you know having talent. You know there's certain things that separate us from the crowd. Uh, what do you think if I would ask one of your teammates or perhaps one of your coaches what your best attribute is? What do you think they would say? My best attribute. Probably to breaking tackles, man. It's just when I had a ball in my hand, they just they just know it's something 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 spectacular is gonna happen. I'm breaking tackle, make a couple people miss, you know what I'm saying? Get some extra yardage after the play, just you know, just showing my toughness when I had a ball in my hand. Is you know, they they try to put the ball in my hand and I try to I try to score every time. I'll be real with you. That's one of the first things that popped off the chart at me. Uh, I'm going to play this little quick uh, clip here for the people. Uh, this play was called back due to penalty, but I really don't care because it uh, shows a little bit of that yak you're talking about. Yeah. Look at that. Up, oh, he's down, right? Nope, spin around. Look at that broken tackles. Puts the hand down, keeps it moving. Look at that stiff arm, stiff arm. You keep it going, man. Uh, that <laughs> man, that's one of the things about your game. I'm like, wait a sec, wait a sec. Okay, so this kid, he's Sun Belt Conference, right? I'm just supposed to think, you know, uh, well, what's he got? I'm like six one, two fifteen, and I remember you from a couple years ago because you had five touchdowns in the first two games of the season, and I remember being like, I got to keep my eye on this kid. So as soon as I saw your name, I was like, I. I would like to have this interview. Um, dude, phenomenal talent right there. You're, you're a tough dude. And I think I'd like to play this uh, next video here for a second. Uh, why don't you explain what you're doing here to people? Uh, I mean, just raw talent with a, a power clean, 335 pounds. Yeah, personal PR, man. It was just 
pretty much doing it over and over again, stronger, you know what I'm saying? Trying to work on my explosiveness throughout the off season and everything. So cleans is a, a good way to show off how explosive you are. And, you know, making that my PR was just it really exciting. Yeah, it was exciting to watch this. Uh, I'll toss another one up here real quick. You're doing a front <laughs> squat of 405 pounds, making it look like it's just 200 pounds. I just, I was pretty impressed, man. And uh, I love what I see here from you. So um, just wanted to toss that out there for a second. But next question, uh, we were talking about teammates. You actually have a couple teammates, uh, well, alum from South Alabama that actually made it to the NFL, one being former Eagle, Jeremy Reeves, briefly, now Washington football team member. Do you talk with him or any other players who have made it to the NFL? And if you do, what advice do they give you? I actually don't talk to them, you know what I'm saying? On a day-to-day -day basis, I don't really talk to them. It's just pretty much if they come to South or we see each other, you know what I'm saying? It's always it's always good energy, you know what I'm saying? And I did, so they don't really couldn't really give me advice when they're in the league. I'm trying to be with they so they can give me some advice. But you know what I'm saying? While they was here, um, Gerald Everett and um, Jeremy Reeves, it was pretty much they gave off the same the same advice to me. You just just have fun and stay humble. You know what I'm saying? That's the name of the game, and that's how I go about playing it every day. I think maybe one of the reasons that people might not have heard your name is because of that, and that's not a bad thing at all, man. Um, you know, as Former wide receiver. I know the names that we get. You know, we're prima donnas, right? Well, yeah, for sure. I'll be honest with you, you've been nothing but humble, and uh, it's been great talking to you right now, man. Uh, it's great getting to know you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, now, uh, talking about your talents, uh, you were used mostly in the slot, from what I saw. Um, you know, uh, but they used you in motion. They had you lining up in the backfield as a running back. I mean, that's great. Uh, it's phenomenal to be versatile like that. But do you feel you have the tools to make it as an outside receiver, a true number one, a six foot one, two fifteen? Oh, for sure. You know, I, it, it was. I came in playing outside receiver. I've always been playing outside outside receiver. You know, through high school and halfway through college, it was it was my ability to play outside and that I used to help me with inside and you know what I'm saying with the with the backfield and everything. It's just having the speed and getting off of, you know what I'm saying, reroutes and stuff. It's it's all outside work, you know what I'm saying, that I've adjusted to to play inside and in the backfield that helped me at all. So, yes, I, I'll feel confident, you know what I'm saying, playing outside receiver in the NFL. I definitely would feel confident that as well. But seeing you, I, I understand why your team put you in the slot and why they were using you the way they were. I mean, it, it definitely worked out a lot, um, multiple touchdown games. All that. And look – you know, to say that you just were a slot receiver is ridiculous because you said it yourself. You played outside on the tape. I watched a lot of times you were outside. And actually, one thing I noticed was they had you outside a lot when it was running plays. It seems that they liked your blocking. Um, I think that also speaks to that toughness again, man. And I think these are some pretty great attributes to have uh, when trying to make it to the NFL. You know, NFL teams want to see these little things. And I think you more than possess them, man. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, I definitely take my blocking very seriously. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, I, I very much wish the run play would come my way because, so uh, you know what I'm saying? So my block matters. You know, I just, I just know my man's not going to make the tackle and that's how I approach it. Love it. I was watching you and I saw that, you know, attacking people and, you know, it was easy. I started realizing uh, most of the games I got to see tape on, uh, you were wearing that left arm sleeve. So I could spot you out there uh, and you're beating people up, man. Just beating people up. <laughs> I love it. What is uh, one part of your game that uh, you feel that you could improve on? Oh, uh, it's definitely, you know, as a receiver, you know, my my, my route running. You know, it's always it's always an a, a improvement that can be done. You know, so I, I personally feel like I could get better in and out of my routes. <laughs> You know, and going to the league, you know, working with the the greats and everything, the people that's done it for years and years is just going to improve my game, learning from them, them passing it, everything, their their knowledge on the media. And I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I learn very quickly. So once I learn that, you know, I could, I could be as good as I want to be. Yeah, and I agree with you. I think, you know, everybody has work, you know, coming out of college, of course. And I think, you know, with the right mindset, I think you're going to do just fine, man. Um now, uh, 
after that, I had uh, who was the toughest DB that you went up against, uh, whether that be on your own team or an opposing team throughout college? I'll give it to Georgia Southern alumni, Kendall Vildor. Yes, sir. You know, he was just uh, he was just very smart and playing the game. You know, I could tell he's just, you know, very athletic, very fast, you know, quick twitch person. It just it's, it's really fun going against competition like that, you know, so, and him making it in the league. So uh, I plan to return to it. Yeah, hopefully you get to see him again. That'd be great. Um, now, um, I'll be real with you. Uh, you honestly had some phenomenal games. Uh, phenomenal. Uh, now, one that stuck out to me it was a six catch, 154 yard, three touchdown performance against the University of Louisiana Monroe. Now, other than that game, what's your favorite game that you had? Again, going back to Georgia Southern last year, 20. 19 game it was it was a loss but you know it's just it's just always fun going back and forth with georgia southern you know uh it's a very physical game out there and a very <laughs> very personal game i say but you know I, I definitely have much fun playing them well that that's great news to hear that you're excited about rivalries because as you know here in philadelphia we kind of like our rivalries. Uh, so, I mean, if you were to find your way here, I think uh, the GM ownership, everybody would be pretty happy to hear that. Looking forward to the rivalries. I love it, man. Now, uh, I, I want to get a little more personal here. I love the football talk. I love all the stuff. Um, now, I wanted to show one more clip before I got personal, though. I, I'm going to be honest with you. You had some pretty phenomenal highlight reels. You saw the broken tackle video earlier. Uh, but there's uh, this one where I think it shows a little bit of that speed. It looks like you're a gazelle in this. And it, what's so funny about this video is like you look kind of like you're not really running that fast. It, it's, that's how fast you are. And you watch the guy behind you. It looks like he's running for his life, like someone just stole his mom's purse. So <laughs> I, I just thought I would definitely show this one. I enjoyed it. See here, a little arrow route, quick out. Dude, look at that. Boom, broken tackle. This guy misses you. And look at him running for his life trying to catch you. I love it, man. I, I just, I feel, you know, you're one of those guys that you're not just, a, you know, speed is actually something you have too. I think that's something that you're not just a strong guy. I, I think that you provide all kinds of stuff. And it's not just, oh, he's six foot one, 215. And a lot of times people get, you know, excited around here. It's just, oh, well, they're automatically good. But on the same token, they'll say, oh, well, he can't because this or that. I'm going to be real with you, man. I Watching you, I think if you were on an NFL team with an NFL quarterback, you'd be doing those same things, man. Uh, so I'm excited to watch you throughout, you know, all the bowl games and through the draft process. So it's been great uh, watching your football highlights. Uh, but let's show these people that you can make one-handed catches as well. <laughs> Dude, this catch. Oh, my God. That's that's what we need. See, we're looking for hands here in Philadelphia, and that's something you got, man. So we're talking speed. We're talking strength. You got them hands. My man likes a rivalry. He's coming to fight. So, I mean, I'm just I'm trying to find the things wrong with you here, man. I'm just not. I'm not seeing it. So <laughs> loving it so far. So let's get to know you a little bit more personal here, man. Um, now, when exactly – did you start to play football? Um, and right away, was it something you were passionate about? Was it something you were pushed into? And have you always played skill positions, running back, receiver? Uh, yeah, I started playing as, 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 as early as I can remember. It was around five years old, you know, just in wing T, playing running back, you know what I'm saying, just, just coming downhill. That's just the type of, type of football I was brought up on. You know what I'm saying? If you you can't you can't play if you're not physical. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get smacked in the mouth. So yeah, I always played the running back, tight end. I played a little tight end back when I was younger. You know, I, I'll catch a corner ball here and there and stuff like that. But other than that, yeah, I've always played skill positions. You're too tough for your own good, Coach. Put you at <laughs> tight end, right? Mm -hmm. I know how that goes. Uh, now, not not the toughness. I don't know how that goes, but uh, I know how coaches like to use you and. Look, let's be real. Um, 
I think you could do well at tight end. I honestly were looking at you. I was like, this guy, you know, you see Antonio Gibson, somebody that comes, you know, from college as a receiver and plays running back. I was even thinking that it's like, this guy has so many opportunities because we talked about it earlier, you know, uh, inside receiver, outside receiver, lining up out of the backfield. They have you in motion half the time, you know, maybe a Z receiver, but I, I think looking at it, you also lined up as running back. How do you like running the ball, man? Like how, how is that? Is that something like you would think about if a team asked you? Oh, I mean, anything to win for sure. Just give me to put the ball in my hands and, and you'll see what I could do with it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> you sound like you like to get rowdy. You're looking for rivalries. You're looking for a fight, you know, and that's, that's what we're about here. So I'm loving that. Uh, now, how do you get yourself into that mode? How are you finding yourself getting pumped up for game day? What's your go-to song or go-to artist? Any song. That's a good one, man. I listen to a lot of people, man. I listen to a lot of Atlanta rappers, you know, Young Thug, Lil Baby, Future. You know, so I go, I, I, not from Atlanta, listen to No Cap, definitely listen to Drake. So it's, it's pretty much a mix of all of that, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, with a clear mind, you know what I'm saying? I'm not... I'm not really more of a pumped up person, but you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm more of an even kill. And, you know, that's how I come in the game and do what I got to do. I like that. Uh, we got a little taste of that this year. Um, we had ourselves a big quarterback controversy. We found a young man stepping right in, rookie year, even killed. He had the attitude you want to see. And that's what it sounds like I'm hearing from you today. So, I just want to tell you, and anybody watching out there, this kid, it's not only his tape, personality, he's got it all, and uh, I'm really enjoying it, man, enjoying getting to know you here. Now, what's the one thing most people don't know about you, Kwan, that you want them to know about you now? I got two, to be honest. I got two. <laughs> I'll take them. My mom, as a, as a kid, my mom used to make me peanut butter and jellies before every game even though she's allergic to peanut butter that's how real she is i would love her peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and anybody and to be honest <laughs> anybody that made me a peanut butter jelly sandwich i would love to eat like just a, a a homemade peanut butter jelly sandwich will make my day every time i would love for people to just walk down the street and hand me a pb and j i would i'll that would make my day every day and uh, i love anime i I love anime. I cannot stress it enough. You probably, I'll probably watch anime when I get done off this interview. <laughs> you play like anime video games too. I know there was like a Dragon Ball Z game that had come out. Is that stuff you're into? With all of it, you know what I'm saying? With all of it. I follow the Instagram pages, you know. All I don't it. hate it, man. I grew up, I X-Men, G.I. Joe. That was, I mean, that's before anime. It's the same thing. You know what I mean? That was. Oh, I'm, stuff. I'm with all of that too. Yeah, hell yeah. And PBJ, dude, now I have to, dude, I'm going to be following you like a hawk now uh, throughout this draft process because PB and J, my father used to make those for me every, I I'm telling you, it was probably every day. He was like, you seriously don't want anything else. Mm -mm. But I love to hear your mother's dedication, man. Uh, the love she has for you. To, allergic to peanut butter. Could die from that. And there she is every single day. Making that, right? <laughs> She'd die for you, man. That's, that's special. And I'm sure that you know, that's something you're keeping in the back of your mind while, you know, staying driven. And, you know, it seems like you're very disciplined. And I love to hear that, man. So it sounds like you're on the right path. Now, you kind of got me into the next personal question. I wanted to do a little this or that with you before we headed out. You're talking about anime planet. Let's do a little this or that. I'm going to ask you a quick little two questions. You give me which one, Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. PlayStation. You got the new PS5? I do not. Yeah, those are hard to come across. Gail, uh, he has one, but we, of course, uh, have not been able to find one here at this household either. So don't worry, man. <laughs> <laughs> but now, uh, next question, iPhone or Android? Big Android guy. Got a Galaxy. A lot of people don't like it. They want to argue about it, but I don't care. I don't care. I have it. You know, it's funny. I wanted to hear your reaction just to that question because I always laugh about it. You know, it's. I used to have an Android for about 12 years. Well, they talked me into an iPhone this year, Kwan. And I think wow. you're right. I'll be real with you. I, I miss my Android, but great stuff, man. Now, this one, I'm sorry if this brings you any kind of heat, uh, but uh, I want to know who you think the greater 
wide receiver is? Randy Moss or Terrell Owens? <sighs> Got to go with Randy, man. Got to go with Randy. He was just uh, – he was just so dominant at, at his position and everything. I think he was generations of head, uh, generations ahead of, you know, what he was actually playing at. You feel me? So, got to give it to him. You know, he kind of played with that same drive you're talking about, and what I'm hearing from you. You know, and obviously, somebody that felt they should be a high first round pick, all those teams passing on him, getting a chance to go against the Cowboys that game where he's just breaking records. I mean. I'm with you. And as an Eagles fan, you know, T.O., obviously, that's someone who played here. But Randy Moss was quite phenomenal. And to watch you, uh, you know, as somebody that was speed, size, and obviously not his size, that dude was six four. I mean, unreal. But to see that, you know, uh, that's a great combination to have. And if a receiver can have all those attributes that you do, and if you can keep getting better and better, man, sky's the limit for you. So I, I'm really excited about that. Um, now, Last this or that for you. Here in Philadelphia, we have a food that is quite special to us, and I think everybody knows what that is, and that is the Philadelphia cheesesteak. Now, I don't know if you know this, but the phrase is whiz with or whiz without, and that's just cheese whiz or onions with it. So uh, how are you choosing your cheesesteak? Are you getting the cheese whiz? Are you getting the onion? I'm getting the cheese. I, 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 I'll stay away from the onions, man. I'm not a big onion fan. Knew I liked you. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's whiz without, man. So your first cheesesteaks, uh, you're going to hear, if you do come here, man, everyone in the world is going to tell you something different. So just be prepared for that and try them all. That's my best bit of advice for you. Now I have one final question for you before we get heading out here. Um, talked a little bit, I, I mentioned it here, but as a math guy, you uh, you know, majored in math and stat statistician. Love that, man. I, myself, am a math guy. What are the odds you come back for an interview after the draft process? Oh, that's easy. 110%. You know, it was fun being here. I'll do it any day, man. <laughs> I love it, Kwan. Had to throw in a little buster there, but uh, uh, <laughs> I just wanted to give this time to you, man. It has been awesome getting to know you, you know, doing the studying on you. I really just got excited about it, man, and I wanted to be able to – give you the platform to really let the world know what you have. And, uh, you know, who cares if you went to a small school, whatever it is, man, watch the kid's talent, hear his words. And I wanted to give this uh, time to you right now. If you have any final thoughts you want to tell to the people. Follow me on, follow me on Instagram at underscore gear five dot KB. You know what I'm saying? Get to know me. Hit me up. You know, we could talk about anime, PB and J, all of that stuff. Ah, you know what I'm saying? All it is, and you know, I'm I'm real chill guy, man. <laughs> man of the people. I love it, man. Well, hey, look, if you guys you just heard it, follow him, check him out. Instagram, you got Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Find yeah, him. For uh, sure. Okay. Well, uh, look. I'll be real with you. This has been phenomenal, and I really hope the best for you coming up in your upcoming bowl game and uh, the draft process, man. And uh, hopefully we can talk again. Uh, but until the next time, guys, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This has been Talk the Prospect with Kawan Baker. Thanks, and everybody have a great night. Thank you for having me.